Thanks for coming to yoga. I'm Mary Beth, and I'm so excited that you're here. I have something really, really exciting planned for today. But first, I thought we should wake our bodies up. We should say, hey body, wake up. Hey, I have a song for that. I have a song where we'll tap our bodies and sing about how every little cell in our whole bodies is happy. And hopefully, when we tap our bodies, they'll wake up a little bit. Does that sound good? Great! I love this song. Okay, here it comes. Get ready. Here's a fun song that you can sing. It makes every little cell in your body ring. Pat every single body part when you hear this chorus start. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy, every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy, every little cell in my body is well. Bend your knees and chair pose, please. Every little cell is happy and well. Bend your knees and chair pose, please. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy, every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy, every little cell in my body is well. Reach up high to the sky, every little cell is happy and well. Reach up high to the sky, every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is Breathe out. 
Oh, I just love taking big deep breaths. Especially after that song, now my body feels awake, but my breath is nice and calm. Oh my goodness, my heart is not very calm. It's beating really fast. Can you feel your heartbeat? Is it going thump, thump, thump? Yeah, mine too. Did you know that all the people in the whole world have a heartbeat just like yours? And all the animals in the world too. Did you know that the whole universe has a heartbeat? It does. We just can't hear it because there are so many things that are so loud. What's something that's really loud? That's a great example. Fire trucks are really loud. Airplanes are really loud. Hey, people can be really loud too, don't you think? These things are so loud that they make it really hard for us to hear the heartbeat of the universe. But that's okay because I was thinking, why don't we make the sound of the heartbeat of the universe? Do you want to make that sound with me? Oh, great! We'll start by making an O with our mouths. Can you say, oh? Oh, good job! And then we'll make a yummy sound. So think of something really yummy. Close your eyes, think of it, and say, mmm. We put those two sounds together, oh, mmm. And that's the sound of OM. And OM is the sound of the heartbeat of the universe. So we are going to make one big, beautiful OM together. But before we do that, I think we should practice. What do you think? Oh, great. It's always a good idea to practice things. And it's even more fun if you do it in a silly way. So let's do some silly OMs together. First, let's imagine that we are airplanes. Can you be an airplane? Get out your big wings. All right, we gotta take off and then we gotta land. So we'll say ohm as we take off and we'll say ohm as we land. So take a big deep breath in and we'll take off. No. Take a big deep breath in. That was awesome! Great job! Hey, I have a silly ohm that's also a joke. What does a cow say? But what does a cow say? Backwards! My brain is always full, 
there are all these thoughts and ideas and questions and things that are hopping around and jumping and making all this noise and <gasps> it's like having crazy monkeys in my brain. Can you be a crazy monkey? Like this. <laughs> I want to tell those crazy monkeys, and one way I can do that is with a meditation. We're going to use a mantra meditation. A mantra is a series of words that you say over and over and over again. And when you do that, it calms your mind and it makes you feel better. Because when we say things over and over and over again, we start to believe them. And the things that we believe, they become a part of who we are. Which is why we always pick mantras that say beautiful and loving things about ourselves, other people, and the whole world. So do you want to hear today's mantra? Great! Today's mantra is, I am safe and I am loved. So, what do you say? We say this mantra together three times. Perfect! Okay, so get out your yoga goggles and put them on your knees. And we'll say our mantra three times together. Ready? Here we go. I am safe and I am loved. I am safe and I am loved. I am safe and I am loved. Oh my goodness, the monkeys got really quiet. And I feel so safe. And I feel so loved. What a good feeling. Mantras are really powerful. And you know what's the best part of a mantra? You can make up any mantra you like and you can say it whenever you need it. So, the next time you need to feel happy, or you need to feel peaceful, or you need to feel anything, you can find a place to sit. You can take three big, deep breaths on your own. And then you can say any mantra meditation you like. Any mantra. Hey, if you come up with a really, really good mantra, will you share it with me? I would love to hear your mantras. And then maybe we can share them with everybody so that we can all feel those good feelings that you were able to make yourself feel. That's pretty cool, huh? I think so. Okay, so should we go on an adventure? Oh, great. I knew you'd want to. You're always up for an adventure. Okay, so today we're going to go back in time. We're going to go so far back in time that dogs and cats and lions don't even exist yet. Humans don't even exist yet. We're going to go all the way back to the time of the dinosaurs. Do you want to use your imagination and your body to help me learn about dinosaurs? Awesome! It's going to be so much fun. I think dinosaurs are really, really, really cool. Okay, so dinosaurs are all reptiles. They hatch from eggs. Can you be a dinosaur egg? Come onto your knees. Sit on your heels. And then grab onto your feet and bring your head to the floor. Now, we're a dino egg that's about to hatch. So what happens when an egg is about to hatch? It starts to shake and wiggle and maybe it rolls a little bit and then crack. Oh, now we're going to come out of our dinosaur shell. Oh, what kind of dinosaur are we going to be? Oh, there are so many options. There are dinosaurs that live in the sea like an ichthyosaur. Can you be an ichthyosaur? Come onto your bottom, point your toes, and then bring your forearms, that's this part of your arm, to the floor behind you. Now, I think an ichthyosaur might make a fishy face, 
but that's debatable. So make an ichthyosaur face and send your heart up towards the sky, like this. Now there are other dinosaurs that live in the ocean. One of them is the plesiosaur. Can you be a plesiosaur? Come onto your knees, bring your forearms to the floor again, tuck your toes, and send your tushy up towards the sky, like this. Now there are, there are dinosaurs that live in the ocean, and then there are dinosaurs that live on land. And there are so many options. There are herbivores, dinosaurs that don't eat meat, they just eat plants. Well my favorite, oh well, my favorite is the stegosaur. The stegosaur has this great big back filled with bony plates and a long tail that has spikes on the end. Can you be a stegosaur? Come onto your hands and then tuck your toes and just like our plesiosaur, send your tushy in the air. Imagine that you have big bony plates over your whole back and then you have a tail with spikes. Switch legs. Great job! Okay, so there are herbivores, and then there are carnivores. These are the dinosaurs that eat other dinosaurs. And one of them is so famous. He's the king of all dinosaurs. It's a T-Rex. Can you be a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Stand up. Bring your feet towards one another, then bend your knees, and give yourself teeny little arms. And now, take a big deep breath in, and roar. Do it again, take a big deep breath in. Oh my goodness, you make a very scary T-Rex. I love it. Hey, we can also be a dinosaur that flies. One of the dinosaurs that can, that can fly is a pterodactyl. Can you be a pterodactyl? We'll stand on one leg, pick up our other leg, send it straight back behind us like a tail, and then reach our arms out wide like we have wings. Great job, let's switch sides. So, pick up your other foot, Send it straight back behind you and reach your arms out wide like you have wings. Awesome! Oh my goodness. There are so many options. Do you know what kind of dinosaur you would be? Oh man, the other two that I would think of that I think we could all be with our bodies is a, uh, hmm, a triceratops. Can you be a triceratops? We'll step one foot forward, then bend your knee and reach your arms up overhead like you have a great big horn. Technically you have three, but we only have two arms, so we'll just be one. Great job, let's switch sides. Step this foot back, then step your other foot forward. Bend your knee and reach your arms up overhead like your big horn. Awesome. Now, the only other dinosaur I can imagine being because it is the biggest and the tallest and I think the most beautiful of all the dinosaurs is the Brachiosaur. Can you be a Brachiosaur? They're very, very, very tall. So, stand up really tall, reach down to your feet and up through your head. Oh no. We're definitely not tall enough. Okay, reach your arms up overhead so you can reach to the very tippy tops of the trees to bring down the branches and hark. Great job. Oh my goodness. Dinosaurs are so cool. And we only learned about a few of them. There are so many other types of dinosaurs and you could learn all about them. You could learn all about how the dinosaurs died out and then what happened next. What's really interesting is that, did you know, they're pretty sure that the closest relative 
of a dinosaur is a bird? Isn't that crazy? Oh, I think it's so interesting. So maybe if you're still interested in dinosaurs, you can learn some more. And then if you want to, you can share some cool facts about dinosaurs with me. I would love to learn more. All right, so dinosaur poses are so much fun that I thought we could use them to play my favorite game. Do you want to play freeze dance? Oh, awesome. Freeze dance is my favorite. So here's how it works. I'll put on some music, and when the music is playing, you get to dance. You can dance however you like, but when the music stops, you pick one of our dinosaur poses, and you freeze. So let's go through our poses again, and that way you know all your options. So you can be a dino egg. You can be an ichthyosaur. You can be a plesiosaur. You can be a stegosaur. You can be a T-Rex. You can be a pterodactyl. You can be a triceratops. And you can be a brachiosaur. Okay, are you ready to play? Great, I've got some music. You get ready to dance. Take them apart and put them on your knees. 
Our mantra was, I am safe and I am loved. So let's say it three times together. Ready? I am safe and I am loved. I am safe and I am loved. I am safe and I am loved. Oh, I feel so safe. And I feel so loved. Oh, I hope you feel safe and loved because you are. You are very, very safe here with all the people that love you. And you are so loved by them. I also love you a lot. I love that you come and hang out with me and that you get silly with me and pretend to be dinosaurs. It's so much fun. So thank you. But sadly, it is time to say goodbye. So, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna say goodbye the way yogis all over the world say goodbye. We're gonna bring our hands together at our heart, and we're all gonna say namaste. Namaste is a word in a language called Sanskrit, and it means that the light and the beautiful things inside of me, they see and they love the light and the beautiful things inside of each and every one of you. Oh, what a nice way to say goodbye. So bring your hands back to your heart, and on the count of three, we'll all say namaste together. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste.